Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 of this tutorial. In this uh, part 2, I will modify the part 1 of this uh, project. Okay, what I'm going to do is to change it into wireframe and select the existing uh, rope DE for the shortcut to delete it. Okay, and hit the tab. Okay, to select the cartridge system. Okay, and show the mass. Okay, hit the tab, select DE for the shortcut to delete the existing one. Okay, so double click the mass. Okay, go, so go inside. So now, what I'm going to do is to go into south. Okay, and now use the arc. Okay, snap into the negative level, okay, and snap to the middle of the reference, okay, and draw arc like this. Modify it, okay, select this one and mm for the shortcut and use the line to close it, okay. So go into 3D, select this one okay create foam solid foam and drag it all the way down okay select this and you drag it into the outside okay now change it into medium so you can see it clear okay select all of this okay ro for the shortcut of rotate and make sure that you copy it and now this is what he look already okay so now select these two extrusion okay change it into void form okay so if you can see there is one more so use the cut and do it like this okay so you will see this in the top already okay so hit the tab okay to select again the void okay and de for the shortcut to delete the one void and now you can use the arrow key okay it's better go to south okay arrow to your, to your keyboard to move it okay little bit down Okay, so now finish mass. Okay, so hold the control shift to rotate. Okay, and now what I'm going to do next is to go to curtain or the wall. Okay, select the mass. Okay and create wall okay hold the control shift to select the two and change it into finish space interior okay so now go to wall again and select the lower row okay is calculating already Okay, and select again the other one. Okay, unjoin element and re change it into realistic. So to make it clear, so there is a balance. Okay, use the wall, select the mass to create. Uh, group okay and join element okay so this is what they look already you can counter check it so there is one more so again use the wall select the mass if you cannot select you can use the hold and control shift hold the control shift to rotate it and you can select it like this Unjoin 
element okay so now right click entire project okay select hide element okay so only the mask you can see okay double click it okay so you go inside hit the tab to select okay de for the shortcut to delete the other uh, void mask and finish okay and unhide now the rope Okay, so now go to Cartoon System and select the mask. Okay, remember that is already default because I used the same file into my part one. Okay, so this is what hello already. So you can modify it. Okay, that is the tips how to uh, modify your project. So now you can select this and edit surface okay so you can select the point okay and you can drag it all the way okay so now what we're going to do next is to hit finish and make a sub region for this temporary walk okay let's say like this here okay and hit Finish. Uh, you can select the subregion and you can change it the material into white. Okay, you can type it here. Okay, white so for temporary. That is the good white, the gypsum. Okay, so this is what he look. Okay, so you can modify it as you want. Okay, and now go to the existing 3D views okay and select the crop and you can adjust it little bit like this okay so now bg to counter check it because we render this one at least this is unchecked and show mask by view settings okay and render it okay wait for the result Okay, 49% already. Okay, so I hope that uh, everyone can understand the steps how to modify our existing one into this part 2. Okay, I hope that you enjoy to watch this tutorial and please don't forget to like, share or subscribe. And